The Minnesota Twins have been a pretty good team this year. They're not necessarily that amazing or anything, but luckily for them, their division isn't either, so the Twins have found themselves in first place pretty much the entire year up until this point. They've had an overall solid pitching staff and lineup. Again, nothing necessarily that special or anything that stands out, but in baseball, as long as you find a way to get to October, you got a shot. In this video, I'm going to focus on something in particular that caught my attention with this team. There are two players who both happen to be in the same lineup and are putting up really good numbers this season, both all-stars, but are doing it in the most opposite way possible. Byron Buxton and Luis Arise. A lot of the time, OPS does not tell the whole story. For those who don't know what OPS is, it's a players on base percentage and slugging percentage added together. So the higher that number is, obviously the more talented that hitter is. If you have an OPS in the 900s or anything over a thousand, chances are you're pretty damn good at both getting on base and hitting for some power and extra bases. When an OPS is in the 800s or lower, however, it doesn't necessarily tell the entire story story. Why exactly does that hitter have an OPS of where it's at? Well, the 2022 Minnesota Twins have a perfect example of polar opposite ways to get a good OPS. To start, Byron Buxton. Buxton is and has been one of the better outfielders in baseball over the last several years. The only issue with him is how prone he can be to getting hurt. Like, it's bad. He's only played over 100 games once in his entire career so far, and that was back in 2017 when he played in 140. Other than that, the most he's played was 92 in 2016. Buxton was also never really a great hitter. He was always an amazing defender, but ever since 2019, Buxton's been way better offensively too. 2022 is finally seeming to be Buxton's breakout year, as he became an all-star for the first time in his career and has been a really valuable player for the first place Twins. He of course plays a great center field, but he's also hitting. If you just looked at his batting average, you'd think he was a bad hitter. If you then went and looked at his on-base percentage to go along with his batting average, you'd think he was a horrible hitter. Let's now take a look at Buxton's teammate, Luis Arise. Arise currently has the best batting average in all of baseball this season, and as for his on-base percentage, well over 400 being the best in the American League. That of course is incredible stuff compared to Buxton's poor average and on base numbers. Well, Byron Buxton's OPS is around 840. Arise? Around 850. They have very similar OPSs. Let me say that again. Arise has literally the best average in baseball and the best on base in the American League. How is this remotely possible for his OPS to be almost identical to Buxton's? Because these two are polar opposites and have such approaches when hitting. Byron Buxton hits bombs. He's top six in home runs across baseball and has legged out almost 20 doubles, which is the most on his team. He's an incredible hitter, like Arise, just in a completely different way. Arise has virtually no power, hitting 21 less than Buxton this year, yet provides his production in totally different fashion. Buxton has struck out almost 70 more times than he's walked. Arise has walked almost 10 times more than he has struck out. Carlos Correa is the balance between these two hitters. He's not having a fantastic year at the plate by any means, but he's still been solid with his OPS right around the 800 mark. His on-base percentage and slugging percentage are both around the same. Not bad, not great, just pretty good. But what this really tells us is how diverse this Twins lineup really is. They got a guy in a rise who strictly is all about getting on base and putting the bat on the ball, not really striking out. Buxton, who is all about power, and then a guy like Correa who can do a bit of both. The Minnesota Twins are a sneaky good team, not nearly as talented on paper as the Yankees or Astros per se, but they have some weapons, different types of weapons, and I found this stark contrast between Buxton and Arise pretty fascinating. It's really cool and just shows the various ways you can be a productive hitter in baseball. Let me know what you think about this, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.